In this video, we're going to talk about what are the recommended foods that we should consume to provide the best nutrients for our bodies. Now, why is it so important to eat the right food? Eating the right food means providing your body with the right amount of nutrition, and you can do it with a proper meal that is healthy while not trying to deprive yourself from other food. To top things off, you can eat right and exercise regularly to achieve a well-balanced, healthy mind and body. Consuming food from a wide variety of sources helps maintain a healthy and interesting diet to ensure your body has the nutrients it needs to help reduce the risk of disease. The best food choices include vegetables, fruits, whole grain, dietary fiber, healthy carbohydrates, calcium, and healthy fats. Now let's talk about vegetables. One of the first best food choices is vegetables. I'm sure that each and every one of us know the importance of vegetables in our daily diet, but do we really know why it's so useful in reducing weight? You may not know, so without further ado, let's begin. Vegetables are useful in reducing weight as they provide bulk and give a feeling of being full. And furthermore, the bulk and water count aids in the treatment of constipation. To get the best out of vegetables, they should be taken raw or just slightly cooked by steaming, boiling, broiling, or stewing. Green leafy vegetables provide a source of many nutrients, including iron, fiber, vitamins A and C, and potassium, which helps to purify the blood, heal the intestinal tract, anemia, and reduce the risk of developing diabetes. A good example of green vegetables are spinach, cabbage, and broccoli where they are best served after being steamed or lightly boiled. Red and yellow vegetables like tomatoes, pumpkin, eggplant, potato, carrot, beetroot, bitter gourd rich in nutrients, and bitter gourd are rich in nutrients as well. They contain vitamin A, vitamin B, iron, potassium, calcium, and fiber, which can improve body immunity and help to boost the body's metabolism. Now let's talk about fruits. Fruits provide nutrients vital for health and the maintenance of your body. People who eat fruit as part of an overall healthy diet generally have a reduced risk of chronic diseases. The healthiest choices are fresh fruits, or frozen, without added sweeteners, as the sugar from fruits, or fructose, can be quite high. Fruit is naturally low in calories, fat and sodium, and rich in folate, vitamin C, potassium, and fiber. Some high-potassium fruits include bananas, peaches, oranges, honeydew, and cantaloupe. The fiber in fruit helps to lower cholesterol, and it protects against heart disease. Vitamin C in food like strawberries and citrus help with wound healing and keeps gums and teeth healthy. Now let's talk about whole grain. Eating more whole grains is an easy way to add a layer of health insurance to your life. Whole grains are better sources of fiber and other important nutrients like magnesium, selenium, potassium, protein, antioxidants, fiber, B vitamins, and iron. Whole grains have been shown to reduce the risk of heart disease by lowering blood pressure and cholesterol levels, along with blood coagulation. Whole grains have also been found to reduce the risks of many types of cancer. Fiber is important for healthy bowel function, as it helps to reduce constipation and diverticulosis. B vitamins help the body release energy from carbohydrates, fat, and protein. Iron is used to carry oxygen in the blood. Selenium is important for a healthy immune system, and magnesium is a mineral used in building bones and releasing energy from muscles. Some of the healthy whole grains include whole wheat, bulgur, oatmeal, quinoa, brown rice, and whole grain barley and corn. Now on to dietary fiber. Dietary fiber has many health benefits. Consuming foods which are high in fiber can reduce your risk of heart diseases, stroke, diabetes, some cancers, as well as losing weight. Foods that are high in fiber are usually derived from natural and unprocessed food. Good sources of fiber can be found in nuts, barley, whole grains, oatmeal, wheat cereals, and beans. For vegetables, it can be found in celery, carrots, and tomatoes. Whereas for fruits, it can be found in berries, apples, pears, and citrus fruits. 
It is best to start your day off with whole grain cereals or include unprocessed wheat bran into your preferred cereal to increase your fiber intake. Now we'll discuss healthy carbohydrates. Carbohydrates are an essential part of a healthy diet. Carbohydrates provide the body with glucose, which is converted to energy used to support bodily functions and physical activity. Most carbohydrates are naturally occurring in plant-based foods, such as grains. Food manufacturers also add carbohydrates to processed foods in the form of starch or added sugar. Some of the common sources of naturally occurring carbohydrates include grains, milk, nuts, seeds, vegetables, and fruits. Carbohydrate quality is important. Some types of carbohydrate-rich foods are better than others. The healthiest sources of carbohydrates, unprocessed or minimally processed whole grains, vegetables, fruits, and beans, promote good health by delivering fiber, vitamins, minerals, and a host of important phytonutrients. Now on to calcium. Calcium is important for overall health. It also plays an important role in muscle contraction, transmitting messages through the nerves, and the release of hormones. Almost every cell in our body uses calcium in some way. Our body requires calcium to maintain healthy bones and teeth. Dairy products are a good source of calcium, which they are also easily digested and absorbed into the body, like milk, unsweetened yogurt, and cheese. Vegetables like kale, romaine lettuce, celery, broccoli, fennel, green beans, cabbage, summer squash, Brussels sprouts, and asparagus, as well as criminy mushrooms, are rich sources of calcium. Moreover, beans like black beans, white beans, pinto beans, kidney beans, black-eyed peas, or even baked beans are excellent choices for gaining calcium. Protein provides us the energy for our body to work and overconsumption of protein can be detrimental to our kidneys. Fish, chicken, or plant-based proteins like beans, nuts, and soy are the ones that contain high-quality protein. Now let's talk about healthy fats. People are often concerned about excess dietary fat, but not getting enough good fats may also cause health problems. Eating fat can be heart-healthy if you pick the right kind. The fat that we consume is digested and either used for energy, stored in fat tissues, or incorporated into other body tissues and organs. Fats exert powerful effects within the body. We need adequate fat to support metabolism, the health of various body tissues, immunity, cell signaling, hormone production, and the absorption of many nutrients, like vitamins A and D. Having enough fat will also help keep you feeling full between meals. Here are some of the examples of high-fat food that are actually incredibly healthy and nutritious. Foods like avocados, almonds, fatty fish, hazelnuts, cheese, dark chocolate, pecans, pumpkin seeds, and sesame seeds.